What's up, peeps? How y'all doing? Um, right now, I'm just chilling out in my home, and before I head out for work, today I want to go over a few topics in the hip hop community, especially the last video I made and uh, Drake and a couple of other things. So, before I get started, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and to join in on the movement. So, if you're new to the channel, let me give y'all a chance to do that in a second. And now we can continue. Now, on my last video, I addressed on the, the Eminem and the casuals of hip hop. Look, I just want to go out and say off the record, I think Eminem is a great artist, but right now he is just trash. Right now he is straight up garbage. His last four projects have been straight up garbage. Let's be real. Hell, even like a couple months beforehand. I mean, let me clarify. When I first heard the Sims Shitty LP, I was kind of off the hook. I was off the chain with that one. I thought it was a pretty dope-ass record. Then he got the Marshall Mathers LP and the Eminem show. And in my view, I thought those were like some three great classic-ass albums. And to be honest, I still think that, you know? And among of all those, Role Model from the Slim Shady LP, I replay that shit the most because that was my fucking favorite joint. You know, I thought it was funny, witty, and the dark serious sideness of him and whatnot. I remember like a couple of songs that I listened to from him in my childhood and whatnot. I thought those were some great ass bangers. But then you got Encore, and then on from there, you got Relapse, Recovery, and whatnot. I thought it was just like, oh my god. And then Encore is when you started to tail off a bit. Due to, you know, him being on drug addiction. And that's fine. Because he was in a dark place at the time. And then he got relapsed with those weird ass accents and those... Uh, how do you call it? Lukewarm beats. I'm just like, what's going on here? And then he got Recovery, which is that ultra poppy ass record. I'm just like, oh my god, turn this shit off. So I always skip that because as much as I enjoyed it back then when it came out, even when I was in high school... I was like, what the fuck is this shit? So I don't even replay that as much anymore. I just threw that shit away. It was like bad. Then he got the Marshall Mathers LP2. I thought it was a good one. I thought, like, it's a step in the right direction. But the next thing you know, you got Revival. I'm just like, straight up garbage. It's worse than Recovery. I threw that shit away. Then you got Kamikaze. I thought it was good. But the next thing you know, I realized that it wasn't. And he got those last two um, projects of music to be murdered by. Straight up garbage. This, <clears throat> excuse me. I thought, and from this point on, I thought this dude just fell off a cliff. Because the last four projects and whatnot was just garbage. Let's be real. I even say it. With the Marshall Mathers LP2, I thought he should have just ended it right there. He had a good run. He maintained the spot. He just, just should have just retired right then and there. Now, the Slim Shady LP, Marshall Mathers LP, the Eminem Show, to me are classics. But, like, Nah, dude. He is just really doing too much trying to call out mumble rappers, trap rappers for the place in hip-hop, saying hip-hop's in a bad state. That's the type of move that casuals would make. You know? And this and this is the reason why I want to call out casuals, because y'all are the type of people that want to stick to, like, to a certain type of a style of hip-hop and don't give a chance to evaluate exactly how a hip-hop artist should um, maintain his footing. Or at least make a long, good impression in hip-hop. And that's the problem. Casuals always think about, oh, this uh, era of mama, uh, uh, is just trash. Um, bring back that old-school lyrical rap and whatnot. Nah, nigga. Hip-hop's all about evolution. And how you can evolve it is where you stand above all. You gotta learn how to embrace it. I'm not trying to be one of those old heads. Even though I was kind of, I had that mindset at the time, I've learned to embrace it more and more nowadays. And give like artists a first listen. Say if they have potential and if they're good... I'll say that, but if you're trash, you're trash, and that's where I kind of stay, stayed on that in terms of um, hip-hop right now, because you got a whole lot of fucking casuals that want to shove shit down your throat on the type of hip-hop that they want you to listen to and whatnot, nah, nigga, that's not the case, it really isn't the case, so shout out to Tochi RTA if he ever sees this on my state of that, and how casuals tend to fucking flood you with certain hip-hop they want to just shove it down your throat to with. 
you know, and it's just not good, it really isn't, so, like I said, I respect Eminem, I thought he's a great artist, but right now he's straight up garbage, and these casuals just like to kiss up to him, I do not think he's the king of hip-hop anymore, I should give that to either Nas or Jay-Z, and you always often overlook these niggas, I mean, look what they've done more in the hip-hop game than Eminem did. Hell, you got more joints. Hell, they had like a whole bunch of projects that are straight up joints more than Eminem. And that's just being honest. Let's be honest here. That's just how I feel. I mean, I would expand more on this video, but I don't want to go on too long about it. It's just a brief like summary of that. So, it's just right to the point. Anyways, what I also want to talk about is that I uh, checked out this video from Hip Hop Madness. Shout out to the guys on Hip Hop Madness. They produce some dope ass hip hop content. And uh, this, the, you know, the voice narrator over these um, videos that they've uploaded, like from time to time on certain hip hop topics in the world. So check them out. Hip Hop Madness. Dope ass content. You should look it up. Matter of fact, I'm going to post the a link on their channel down below. But, anyways, I watched a video from them today about Drake saying how much he sabotaged his career on purpose now I want to say this for the record Drake to me is one of my favorite artists of the decade and possibly of all time hell I'll give you my big three hip-hop artists of this decade I give you Drake Kendrick Lamar yeah I said it Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole now for certain real hip hop heads, you can say Drake and Ken and Jake. I mean, J Cole and Kendrick Lamar are like not top one thousand and whatnot, and that's fine. It's becoming like more of a popular opinion nowadays in the hip hop community, but I think they are, and I think to me they're like among the best artists of the last decade. And that's just being honest right here. Hell, Drake is among those two. I thought he's like the goat of this era in my view, but there's some couple points that Hip Hop Madness uh, did on that video on Drake early today. And why he sabotaged his career on purpose. He brought up, and of course, they brought up um, how he's become much more of a uh, pop trendy artist than a real hip hop artist. And guys like Funk Master Flex, hip hop legend, and uh, Triple X Tentacion, may he rest in peace. Way, too, way, seriously, way too young for him to go. It's been like almost a couple years since he died. And um, they all give their thoughts on Drake. And Funk Master Flex told us exactly how much Drake is a a hit making cornball appearing to these casual pop trendy um like fan base and whatnot. And um X would make on go on the record and say that Drake stole his flow from his song Look at Me with uh, Drake's song on KMT from the More Life playlist or album, whatever. And looking at that video, I thought I thought it had, had some great merit to it. Now, look, to me, Drake, I thought he's hip-hop as fuck. He got a lot of hip-hop bangers that I fuck with and some other joints that I don't as much. But I thought he had a lot of hip-hop bangers throughout his career. I mean, at time, I just feel like he's just improving with a lot of good joints you hear in the clubs, in the streets, and all the way around nowadays, in my view. I, and I stand by it. But... What they, what I just mentioned earlier, just now, in this video, holds some merit, because Drake, when he first came on, many people thought he was like a uh, real cornball, but when he got the Take Care album, people were was like revering towards him, saying he's like one of the best hip hop artists we've ever seen and whatnot, and people loved him in the hip hop community. I mean, it just wasn't as much, but they still loved him. But now, and of course you got Nothing Was The Same in 2013, and he thought it was a slam dunk. And then from there afterwards, he dropped the, uh, how you say, the concept-like structures of an album and just went straight for more chart, billboard charting hit single success from that point forward. You know, if you think like the album views, you can kind of see where that album was going. 
just like less conceptual structure and sonically and th thematically driven and, and began much more of a playlist than a like a legit album. And then he got that on with More Life, which is the playlist that I mentioned earlier. And then he got Scorpion, another long ass two disc playlist, 30 plus songs. I'm just like, oh, my God. That pretty much tells you how much he's driven off from concept albums and just driven into a uh, much more playlistic style of his projects. And that's cool. Like I said, that's cool. I mean, he's much more of a um, billboard charting pop artist than a, a legitimate hip hop. But even though I still think he's hip hop as fuck, in my view, it pretty much tells you that. Because um, they brought up an example on the... Um, after he won a Grammy Award for Best Rap Album for Take Care. And then next thing you know, people were driving forward to his um, current rival and, fell in, and fellow California brethren down in the neighborhoods of Compton, uh, Mr. Kendrick Lamar himself, who was revered as Hip Hop's Crown Prince. You know? Yeah, Hip Hop's Crown Prince, Kendrick Lamar, after his uh, universally critically acclaimed album, Good Kid, Mad City, which I did a review on, by the way, like, um, what was it, a couple months ago? Be, be, do sure to check that out if you haven't seen it yet. I thought it was a classic album, in my view, and I stand by it. I fucking stand by it. And, excuse my language, but yeah, I stand by it. And, of course, Drake was featured on that with that song, Poetic Justice. Just to give it like a, a little more commercial boost. And then next thing you know, the whole album in general tells you exactly how much of a classic it is. Then you had the, his uh, Lamar's verse on Control. Everybody in the East Coast, especially Drake, all got up in their feelings and wanted to do diss tracks on him and whatnot. And all of that basically dr uh, driven Drake towards his feelings. And Drop Nothing Was the Same in 2013. And I thought it was another classic album. Or close to it, you know? But you know what? I still say it's a classic album. Them and Take Care are like my two favorite classic hip-hop albums. In my view. And it was nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Rap Album. As a result. And I thought those were some legitimate bangers. So, yeah. And the next thing you know... Sorry about that, I had to check something. But, um, nothing was the same, classic joint and whatnot. And he even felt it with confidence that it was like his slam dunk, his home run, his mega million lotto jackpot of the year. He even boasted of himself on a radio interview that he did years ago at the time of its release. Saying that, and he even called out Kendrick Lamar saying Good Kid, Mad City is the only last concept album that he liked. But the next thing you know, the 2014 Grammy Awards came about and he lost out to, um... He and Kendrick Lamar's Good Kid, Mad City, who were both nominated for Best Rap Album of the Year at that year's Grammys, both lost out to uh, white rapper Macklemore and producer Ryan Lewis for their project, The Heist. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, and a lot of people, including myself, felt like that Macklemore did not deserve that award whatsoever. He really didn't. It was either Drake or Kendrick. And... Many people thought that uh, he was going to apologize to Drake because Drake felt like he uh, had the best out rap album of the year. But then next thing you know, he actually sent out a message to Kendrick saying that he's sorry for winning the award. He thought he had the best album of the year and he even admitted he loved Good Kid Mad City. And that really pretty much pissed off Drake. So with all his love and attention going to Kendrick instead of Drake... Pretty much driven him to um, a more financially driven mode than producing a legitimate complex hip hop album. And that's where he's gone to right now. So, what other ulterior motive for, than for you to go after and get that bag than just, you know, put out like a really legit hip hop album? And that's where he stands. Hell, if you look at the song Hold On, We're Going Home featuring my G Jordan. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, the song of itself, he even predicted that hopefully in 10 years they'll be able to play it like for 
weddings or um, returning homes. Um, people who've been away from their homes, their families, and especially veterans and military services. Uh, returning home after being away for so many years. They thought it was going to be like that. Of course, little did they know it was going to be like a financially driven move by record companies to play for driven casuals, you know? And that's where it's gone to. And that's like the state of where Drake's mindset is right now. And his legacy is a complicated one at best. Because you think about his ghostwriting um, scandal or controversy when Meek Mill exposed him in his, during his feud with Drake, exposed him for having one of his um, writers write for his verse on Mill's track, uh, Rico. And from there, his writing credentials, Drake's writing credentials has been forever questioned from that going on. Like, did he really write this uh, song for such and such, this, that, and the third, and whatnot? I mean, he doesn't have that much love from the hip-hop community as we all know it because of the style of music that he's put on. But for me, I say he's hip-hop as fuck, and people just don't give him enough credit for that. Yeah, I do agree that he's gone the poppy route, which is annoying. I mean, think of songs like Hold On, I'm Going Home, Tusi Slide, which is like a new TikTok viral sensation as we all know it to be, and whatnot. I do agree with him on that point. And how he's like the much more, you know, less respected hip hop pioneer compared to um, Kendrick Lamar. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, it is what it is. So, it's just sad to see how that goes out. And for Drake and Kendrick, I really hope they really end their beef soon because I think it's just too much to go on, you know? Too many beefs, too many nonsense. It's just too much. Any, anywho, that's all I have for that one. And also, I plan to make another album review sometime this weekend, if not tomorrow, because every week I'm doing going over my hip hop playlist whenever I go to work to clock in, do my business and whatnot, and um, a certain listening to a certain playlist playlist on a certain artist, and the idea is like after the whole week of the uh, listening to the playlist, I'm gonna give out exactly which I think the album is like the best one and possibly give like an album and literally going to give out an album review on that. If not like another album besides that, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of probably kind of like my plan going forward if, if necessary, but I really hope y'all stay tuned for the uh, next review I'm about to do. So this week, I'm doing Jay-Z, and I'll give you exactly which album I chose was, like, his magnum opus, and I'll do a review on that, so be sure to tune in on that. And, uh, yeah, that's all I have for today's video. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button. If you want to keep updates on what I'm going to up on my next video, hit that uh, bell comp button on the, uh, next to the subscribe button, and let me know what you think in the comment section. So, with that being said, I'm Luke Johnson, and I'm out this boy. Peace, y'all.